Welcome back guys and the old ways trailer just dropped so we get to learn about Bloodhound's past but also we get to learn new stuff that's very interesting. Now the first thing I will say right here is that this cloud of smoke that this person is running away from that person right there that is Bloodhound's dad that is Johan unfortunately and we get to see that he does die in this scene but here's the thing that's interesting this cloud of blue smoke it's some kind of antifreeze for lava but here's the thing this thing was so powerful that was able to reach outside the city because if you see in this map this is where the explosion happened this is what the refinery looked like and this thing was so powerful the fact that we could see it from a distance and the fact that that cloud of smoke was able to reach bloodhound's house tells you that this thing covered a vast area it's unbelievable it actually was able to reach that far but this thing was deadly anybody outside or even near the city died there were almost no survivors now notice the bloodhound is yelling for their dad well this cloud of smoke is coming behind him but interesting enough and i'll make a theory about this bloodhound's mom is not outside and she's also not inside because if she was inside she would have survived so this just tells me that there is a chance bloodhound's mom is still alive and never made it to dallas i'll make a theory on, about that later on Thought machines contained this land for them. That power seduced them, made them weaker. Let their death be a warning, child. Come. Years later, we see Bloodhound all grown up, and we know later on is that this has been 10 winters or 10 years since the incident that happened. And behind, see Arthur, and Arthur explains about what the, the bad about technology and how they made them weak, which is going to be ironic later on, but you will see why this is funny because in Arthur's mind, he thinks that technology makes people weak. What I think is that deep down, he's sad that his brother died because of the incident that happened the explosion so he's blaming technology and just saying that see this is why technology is bad but i think he's just trying to use technology as an escape goat to justify their new way of living as hunters that refuse technology even though arthur in the past was an electrician my guess is that arthur actually did help build that tower and even though it wasn't his fault that tower exploded the fact that he helped build it feels responsible that bloodhound is now fatherless and he has to take care of them so i think that's why he's blaming technology and maybe because of the ways of the hunter that he joined they they refuse technology regardless we i'm not 100 sure but i think that's a better story now come final test trust your instincts young one all machine fail but the old ways preserve our fly people uncle arthur you will return as one of us or return not at all we learn a lot from here we learned that arthur takes the old traditions very seriously he told bloodhound if go kill this animal and if you can't kill him don't even bother coming home they take this stuff very seriously and i get it they're a group of hunters and the whole thing about hunting is to survive and if you can't hunt they well you might as well not come back because you're gonna be dead weight but damn they are very serious about hunting
So funny enough, the little creature that Bloodhound was tracking was eaten by this big monster that you see later on. And for those of you who are wondering, well, why didn't Bloodhound just come back and told his uncle that, hey, the thing I was chasing got eaten? Well, because he literally just said, if you don't come back with anything, you're exiled. So it's kind of the old tradition actually backfired here on <laughs> Bloodhound because went to this little area because I bring back something. And so if he brought back the creature that killed the little creature he was hunting then i guess that will make officially be one of the hunters like them and because he's a kid and i think he's just curious but it really backfired here the old ways of hunting Now, to give you guys some context is that this monster right here bloodhound reveals that has killed many brethren a lot of hunters have died to this beast any other society would have been happy or grateful that this monster is gone but because bloodhound killed it with a gun and they're supposed to be a group of hunters that refuse technology it's a bad thing which is funny because arthur might have sung a different tune if he realized that if it wasn't for this gun bloodhound would have died because bloodhound was not gonna survive level one hunter basing a level 100 boss there was no way he's gonna win that fight me test is filla i gift my offering to the old father the Riker Jotun that plagued our people. I found its lair. Bless me, Uncle. Oh, you chosen exile. I have brought down a creature that none among us has ever slaughtered. You traded the lesson of the hunt for a quick kill with a trigger. You betrayed the old ways. Watch your tongue, child. You are afraid of a power you do not understand. That power enslaved us. You reject the very wisdom that kept us alive. You reject us. So you can see these two ideologies where Bloodhounds used his weapon to take down a beast that even with his skill level was able to take down something that was really hard to kill for hunters that just use like spears and axes. So for Bloodhound, he just had a new way of thinking because he's always been told technology is bad, but he just literally slayed something that a lot of hunters couldn't have done by themselves or even a group of hunters. So having this open-minded view of technology is not bad. Also, notice what what bloodhound did right here he celebrated because in his mind he thinks that this weapon was a gift from the old father to help him defeat the beast and also i like to think of honoring his brethren that fell to this beast because finally slayed it i have spent 10 winters proving myself to you 
is not my respect you must earn, young one. So a lot of people are going to think if Arthur just doesn't like weapons because they require no skill and just pulling a trigger and no real strength of your own. But I think it's deeper than that. I think the gun represents power and how power can be very corruptible where eventually people want endless power that they can't have. The whole point they were mining in this planet, the IMC, was to collect the rare mineral that sprung modern technology. And what did that technology lead to? It led to weapons that we use in the Titan for war and it led to a lot of suffering in the universe. So I understand where Arthur's coming from. the gun that protected them. It was you. Perhaps there is more to the old ways than the weapon we chose. And beast Nana Slatra. You will be the first. Luthondor. The old father guides. finally saw that Blondhound used the gun to protect the village and Arthur himself. So he finally saw the light and realized technology could be good in the right hands. Now it also could be because he literally saw four of the hunters literally get bodied by this thing and their sticks and axes weren't doing anything to it. But in the end he realized that in order to take down this beast, because clearly they're not going to do it with their sticks and stones, they need to use technology, which is going to be kind of funny in the end because you're going to see how Bloodhound does it.
Now, unlike the first time where Bloodhound was able to use technology to beat the monster and just got too cocky with technology that forgot to make sure the monster was killed, this time Bloodhound did something very different. He understood that he was obviously the prey and the beast was the hunter. So what he did is he smarted the monster. So after beating the monster, he made sure to crack it into ice cubes so that way he knew for sure it was dead. And what we learn in the end when we saw Bloodhound watch his Uncle Arthur being bonfired away in the ship, Bloodhound realized that you can do both. You can have an old way of doing things and a new way of doing things. You can remember the past and accept the future. So that's my understanding what happened in the trailer let me know what you guys think my next video is probably going to be me comparing my old theory about pathfinder and bloodhound and what i got right and wrong about my theory and i pretty much got a lot of things right if you just replace a monster with pathfinder i pretty much predicted what happened in the trailer so yeah guys i'll see you all next time and peace